Okay, so we are officially back to school and the anxiety I know for me starts with the back to school and the lunches. And so Natasha's joining us once again from National Food Pantry, lead to educator. This is one of the topics of your workshop, so I love that yeah. we're doing this. Um, and it's the importance of getting them off of the right foot uh, and having that balanced nutrition throughout the day. Yeah, well, it's so important. They're gone for, what, seven hours, mm -hmm. right? So they wake up in the morning. It's really important that they start out with a solid breakfast in the morning, make sure they get their protein, their fat, uh, complex carbs in their breakfast. And then the same goes with lunch and their snacks throughout the day because they don't, uh, nutrition isn't only for energy and, and growth. You know, it's important for their brain and for focus and concentration and mood. So we don't want our kids having sugar highs and crashes throughout the day. Right, the teachers are going to thank us for this one because I think they can tell, right? They can tell when the kid is uh, hungry agitated. or agitated or if they're seeing that the blood sugar from like maybe that sugary snacks are starting to kick in and they're starting to drop. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. Okay, you've a great example here of what we would like to see or suggestions that you have. Yeah, I've put, t put together three different lunch examples here, but it's really endless, right? So the first is a typical sandwich uh, suggestion or lunch, and there's so many varieties of sandwiches you can do. This is a simple sunflower butter and jam sandwich. So alternative to the peanut butter and jam mm -hmm. that you know we ate when we went to school, like, kids can't have these days. All these lunches are nut free, by the way. And put together a trail mix that's made with just seeds, dried fruit, and some chocolate, and the cucumbers there. Um, and then I would, I would probably- You've made them look so pretty, and you've also added a little chocolate. So there's there's always a hidden gem yeah. in the trail mix. Yeah, yeah, the deal is they have to eat the seeds, though. <laughs> <laughs> they can't just okay. pick up the chocolate. <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay. Um, and then moving on to the second one here, I've got a salad. Uh, this is a pasta salad. It's a combination of quinoa pasta along with our natural food pantry for bean salad. I didn't have time to make a salad straight from scratch, so I got creative and used some ingredients from here and put that together. But they can do a green salad, a Greek salad, a Caesar salad, a, a quinoa salad, you know, potato, any kind of salad. And then we've got the crackers and hummus, some veggies. I threw in a pepperoni bite. Uh, we sell the McLean pepperoni bites here at Natural Food Pantry that are free of antibiotics and hormones. So really clean and some fruit kebabs. So this essentially covers all all the nutrients exactly the nutrient exactly for. you've got you've got some fat with the hummus um, you could throw in some avocado in the salad too if they like avocado and then you've got the whole grain crackers um, and the quinoa the quinoa has some protein in it and it also has the complex carbohydrates your vegetables really important to incorporate color we talked about this mm -hmm. before right eat from the rainbow because different colored fruits and veggies have different nutrients plus it looks better this looks really appetizing. Right. I would like to get this in my lunch. <laughs> uh, this is more me, like having it kind of separated, right. different bites. And so what have you done here? So in this case, I would have a chili packed into a mm -hmm. thermos. Um, along with some nachos, these are organic blue corn nacho chips, uh, some guacamole or salsa or hummus, whatever the child likes, uh, a muffin or maybe some energy bites or something like that that you can make from scratch or you can buy at the store. This is actually from our cafe here. Fruit and, and some veggies. You like to be able to to understand that there's something of value to each thing that they're eating. Yeah. Like you, it, everything is it has its own place. Yes. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, I think a mistake that a lot of parents make is they pack a lunch that's really high in carbohydrates, and kids do need carbohydrates, but it needs to be in balance with the protein and the fats, right? So really thinking about where's the fat gonna come in, and here, in this case, it's the, sun, the sunflower butter here, it's the guacamole here, it's the hummus. Um, so making sure that there's some kind of fat and then protein as well. And of course, water. <laughs> How much emphasis do you put into the planning process? Quite a bit. As parents, well, you know how it is, right? I have I have three children, and if I don't plan and prep in advance, then everything just kind of, kind of falls apart, and you end up sending them with lunches, of, you know, quick fixes that are not necessarily the best choices. So thinking ahead, meal planning is really important, and that's going to look different from family to family. Mm -hmm. Some people like to plan a month in advance and oh, freeze gosh. things in portions, okay. and you know, they're they're really gung ho on the planning. Other people like to wing it and go every couple days. But I like to I like to meal plan once a once a week, come up with them and get the kids involved. Research a new recipe every week to find something new and creative, get them involved in the prep and the cooking. Um, you can batch cook, you can freeze. Yeah, and I'm looking too, right, chili. We have chili for dinner. There's no reason why it's not ending up in a thermos the next day. Exactly. You just tend not to think that way through. The next yeah. day, or you could freeze it mm -hmm. in a portion size and pull it out three weeks later if your kid doesn't like to eat the same thing the next day. Mm -hmm. Some people are picky that way. So you can, you can really stretch it out whenever you're prepping for a meal like dinner think ahead think what can I be what in, what what could I be using these ingredients for 
uh, in, in the lunch for the next day. Some really great ideas here. Next time we're going to be chatting about some of those throw-in quick snacks right. that actually might work that aren't going to be too high in sugar and drop them too uh, quickly. And of course, for more information, you can always check out naturalfoodpantry.ca.